Hola mis amigos, we're making Hawaiian Luau Chicken. Okay, so here we have a little over two pounds of chicken that has been cut into bite-sized pieces. You can use whatever cut of the chicken you prefer. I'm using chicken breasts. And we just want to marinate this in a mixture of pineapple juice and soy sauce. So I'm using one half cup of pineapple juice and one fourth cup of soy sauce. And you just want to marinate this for at least one hour. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in the fridge for about an hour or so. And then we're going to take it out and dredge it in cornstarch and fry it up. Okay, so the chicken has marinated for about two hours and we are ready to start frying it up. So what I've done was I have taken the chicken and put it into a freezer bag and added just enough cornstarch to coat the chicken thoroughly and then just shook the bag up a little bit to coat all of the chicken. And now we are ready to start frying it. Just want to cook your chicken on both sides for a few minutes and then get it nice and golden brown and then we'll be prepared to make our sauce. Okay, and we are back and our chicken is all nice and fried up and it actually gave off a really pleasant, sweet aroma while frying as opposed to the typical fried chicken smell that you have whenever you're preparing fried chicken. So now we're ready to make our sauce. So we're going to start off with one half cup of brown sugar and one cup of pineapple juice and one third cup of soy sauce. And usually I use the low sodium soy sauce, but since we're not adding any salt whatsoever directly to this dish, we are using the regular soy sauce. So what we want to do is continue to cook our sauce until it thickens and then we will return our chicken to the sauce and we will be ready to serve. Right now I am on medium heat but you just want to keep eyeballing it and stirring it until it starts to thicken and then you'll know that it's ready. So we'll get it to that point and then we'll be right back. Okay guys we are back and our sauce has thickened up considerably so at this point we are prepared to add our chicken back into the sauce. Just want to carefully add it in. At this point we are just coating the chicken in our sauce and bringing the temperature of the chicken back up. Once everything is heated well we are ready to serve and you can serve this any way that you desire. What I'm going to be doing is serving it over some Japanese sticky sushi rice. So we'll get this all plated up and I'll show you what it looks like. Hawaiian luau chicken, enjoy, and I'll see you at the dinner table. Mm -hmm. 